Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. As we finally draw into the last month of 2022, I want to continue our best skincare of the year series. Today, focusing down on sunscreen. There is no more important step in your skincare routine than a good broad spectrum SPF. And over the past year, I've tried so, so many different ones. So I wanna highlight what I think are like the top five. Here we have something for everyone, no matter what your budget, your skin type, or what you're looking to get out of the product. One of these will slot perfectly into your skincare routine. So sit back, relax, let's talk the best sunscreens of 2022. Now, before we get into this, I would love to know what like your number one sunscreen of 2022 has been. So sound off in the comments section below and let me know. Your recommendations really do shape the products I try and review here on the channel in the future. And I'm always so, so grateful for them. I want to get this message out there loud and clear that you can do high performance sunscreens on a budget at the drugstore because none of these products cost the earth. The best way of helping me to get that message out there is by reaching down and giving this video a thumbs up and a like. The more likes the video gets, the more widely YouTube distributes it on its platform. So let's get that positivity going. And if you haven't already, if you could give the video a like, I would love you so, so much. Now, with all that being said, shall we cut that waffle and just delve straight on in? So let's kick things off with what I think is best in show, no competition. It goes to this product. This is the Garnier Ombre Solaire Hydra 24 Protect Sunscreen. Now this comes in an SPF 30 and an SPF 50. Obviously choose the one that matches what you're looking to get out of the product, but I'd say the SPF 50 is ever so slightly thicker on application than the 30, so definitely bear that in mind. This just ticks every box. So it's got older generation and new style filters, which I personally really, really enjoy. In here, you've also got a 200ml of product for just £6.7. Let that price sink in. This shows that you can absolutely do good sun care on a budget. This is the product I always direct people to if they're looking to save a little of their coin in terms of their skincare routine. You get a great UVA protection alongside that tried, tested and independently verified SPF. And it's got a really great sustainability standard behind it. So they use recent recycled plastic in the packaging and it's fully recyclable at the other end as well which I really like to see and I think when you combine that with the price point with the quality of the formulation and the outcomes you're going to get this is one that's really difficult to beat and I, I absolutely love it. It's super family friendly because of its size and its price point and it disappears without a trace on the skin so there's no ashiness there's no white cast I think this is truly universal. I've linked it in the comments section below as I will all the sunscreens mentioned in today's video but this just shows you can absolutely do good sunscreen on a budget and Garnier Ombre Solaire have knocked it out of the park. I really wanted to include a spray sunscreen in this list because I feel like they're much maligned in the skincare community. Okay, with a spray sunscreen, you don't get that same guided application as you will when you're putting a cream or a lotion on the skin. So you have to be mindful of that. But I think for people to dismiss them as gimmicky and not worth it, I don't think they understand just how convenient they can be. If you're chasing your kid around the beach and you just want to spray and get maximum coverage, a spray or an aerosol sunscreen can be a great addition. Similarly, if you're just looking to refresh your um, SPF over the top of makeup, it will do so in a way that doesn't disturb any foundation or concealer that you have on. It's really convenient. You can do it on the go. And I would just say, be mindful that the accuracy of the application isn't going to be the same with a spray as with a cream that you're actually working into the skin. Bear that in mind. But honestly, I think it can be a really good product. And the one I would recommend is this. This is the Alterist Dermatologist Sunscreen SPF 50 in the spray version. In fact, all of the Alterist sunscreens are amazing so just choose any one of them and they will slot beautifully into your skincare routine and this one's like eight pounds and you get you get 200 mil of product again so a high performance product at a really low price and you know if you want an aerosol or spray sunscreen this is probably the one i'd recommend my top tip for applying this is apply one layer to the skin let it sink in do its thing for like 30 seconds then go over with another one that way if you don't get that precise application on first round you're covering the areas that you've missed with that second application it's super convenient and like i say if you're chasing a kid around the beach trying to get them covered this <laughs> will definitely be your friend just be mindful of the people behind you because the number of times I've used one of these. I sprayed my own face and managed to just cover everybody with the wind movement behind me. Bear that in mind. But I think they get a bad reputation. But for convenience, I think this is a great option. Now, keeping with convenience, in at number three is this product. This is the Boots Sultan Once Advanced Face Sunscreen. This has an eight hour mechanism of action. I know we're always a bit skeptical when we hear like all day wear sunscreens. Our minds, we're, we're a bit cynical. We think, really, are we getting that protection? Well, thanks to advances in technology and new UV filters, that's absolutely possible. And how brands like this do it is they formulate with a higher SPF than what's on the bottle. So as that diminishes over the day, by the end of that eight hour period, it's delivering what they state, in this case, an SPF 30. So you start with higher, it degrades over time, and you end up with an SPF 30, which is how they can put that claim on the bottle and say that it works for eight hours. 
Newer generation filters don't degrade the same way the older style ones do, so you get the more long-term protection that you ever could do from some of the US approved filters. It's for this reason that products like this don't tend to be available for retail in the North America market, which I personally think is a little bit of a shame because whilst the US restrictions do hold this style of product back, there's no real excuse that this shouldn't be available in places such as Canada. Um, but for somehow, it can be a little bit difficult to get your hands on, which is why, again, I've linked it in the description box below, alongside some other long wear options if you do want to explore that market. This is fabulous. You put it on in the morning. It acts as like a moisturizer and a sunscreen in one, and it lasts eight hours. No reapplication, no worrying about how you're going to put another layer of sunscreen on the top of makeup or how you're going to carry it in your bag to work and all of that. This is a one and done. And for convenience, I think this is amazing. So if you're that sort of person that knows you're not going to reapply during the day, don't feel bad about it. Just switch to something like this and then you kind of just don't have to worry. The technology takes the hassle out of it for you. The one thing I will call out is this is slightly thicker on application as are most long wear sunscreens, but you work them in and you absolutely get that nice elegant finish in the end. I think you just have to work them in a little bit harder than some of the shorter term wear ones will. But I think it's worth it for that convenience factor. So this has a really high UVA protection alongside that tried, tested and verified SPF protection. It's, so it's just a really, really great product. And if I will show you how this one applies to the skin so you can get an idea on how thick it is, you can see it's more of a cream. You work it in, but it will disappear without a trace over time. And this has a light fragrance to it, which I personally really enjoy, but I find it dissipates about two or three minutes after you've applied it to the skin. So it's not one of those scents that lingers. And 20 seconds in, leaves a beautiful finish on the skin, hydrates you to the gods and gives you that eight hour protection I think we all secretly crave. In at number four is a product I have relentlessly fangirled about throughout 2022 because it was a revelation when I first tried it. And it's this, this is the Beauty of Joseon Rice Relief Sunscreen. I'm gonna gloss over this quite quickly because I've mentioned it so, so much on the channel already. But this is so lightweight on the skin. It feels gorgeous. It's one of those sunscreens you want to reach for. It's got calming and soothing ingredients here. So I think this would work really well if you've got very sensitive sensitive skin type and whilst yeah everyone's skin is unique they, anecdotally people say that this is less irritating than some other sunscreens on the market so if you're struggling to find one that doesn't irritate the skin this probably would work really well for you it's got that rice prebiotics in here to help the microbiome of the skin and all around I think this is one of the truly invisible sunscreens at least on my skin tone now I have heard some people say that when they have a deeper darker and richer skin tone this can leave a slight hue so I will call that out not something that I noticed on my skin tone Tone, but I wanted to make you guys aware of that in case you know that is something that will apply to you and you want to factor that into your purchasing decision. But all around, I think it's a really nice product. The one criticism is it's small. 50 mil, so you are going to be buying quite a few units of this. They now do like a double pack where you buy two and you get a small discount, which I personally like because I do get through this. But I wish they just did a larger thing so we could cut down our packaging waste and all that stuff. So Beauty of Joseon, if you're watching, do this in a larger size. I know so many people would buy it and this is just a really, really nice sunscreen. Again, tried, tested, and independently verified, which is really good so you know you're getting that guaranteed protection. And whilst this hasn't got the highest UVA protection on here, it's still really good by Korean sunscreen standards and definitely one that will glide onto the skin and feel beautiful on application. Now, finally, before I come on to an honorable mention, I do want to just give a call out to this. This is the Mad About Skin Protect and Hydrate Sunscreen. I kind of got so frustrated about not being able to find a sunscreen that felt super elegant on the skin, but could act as a moisturizer and a sunscreen in one for us oily skinned folk out there. Didn't break you out, but also gave really high UVA alongside UVB protection. I thought, you know what? Better off just creating my own. Now, I went into this journey thinking, oh, this will be a breeze, and it was anything but. Sunscreen, application, testing, formulation, it's a lot of work, and it's been about two years worth of effort to bring this to market, but I'm so, so proud that I've finally been able to do so. So with this product, you get 100 mil in here, so it's larger than that Beauty of Joseon one, so you're not gonna be buying it as frequently. You've got a higher UVA protection factor in this, which is really important to me, because you know UVA are the rays which age the skin, but they can also cause cellular damage down the line. So you really want a product that's gonna protect against UVB and UVA radiation in like equal measure. The Ultrist one definitely does, and that's got a sky high UVA protection. This one will as well, and all the others do have really robust UVA coverage too. This hydrates you to the gods, but leaves a really nice finish on the skin. It's not super glossy, it's not super dewy, but it's not that deadpan matte that some sunscreens can transfer as. It's just that nice in between that kind of guarantees you a good skin day. When you apply it, you'll find it just glides into the skin. 
it leaves behind that hydration that you'd expect and it's got some really great calming and soothing ingredients in here too packed full of antioxidants so if you want to get your antioxidant and sunscreen fix in one product this is one that you could definitely definitely go for and i wanted to keep the price point as affordable as possible because my mantra is always good sun care shouldn't cost the earth and it should be accessible to everybody if you wanted to try this one out we've got a bit of a black friday deal on at the moment so if you're picking one of these up definitely put one of our lip conditioners in the basket at the same time when you check out you'll automatically receive that lip conditioner for free so you buy this you get a lip balm as a little bit of extra hydration and love for those lips so what's not to love about that all the details are in the description box below as they are for all of the products mentioned today but i am i shamelessly fangirl about this because i'm so so proud it took a lot of work to get to this point but i'm so glad i persevered because now i've got a sunscreen that i actually look forward to applying and will work really really well even though i have super oily and breakout prone skin now finally i said i've got an honorable mention for you and it's this product this is the abib quick sunstick so a lot of people say how do you apply reapply over makeup during the day well you can absolutely use an aerosol sunscreen like that one from alterist but some people prefer it in a stick application and this one is really good it's totally transparent it's really convenient on the go and it leaves behind just the right amount of product if you work it across the skin you don't have to rub it in it does slightly disrupt your makeup but you know any sunscreen reapplied over it will but this i'd say of all the ones i've tried disrupts it to the least possible extent so it's barely barely noticeable you don't need to rub it in you just glide it over and it works really really well i would definitely say make sure you don't use this as your only sunscreen i think this style of product works better for reapplication but it is really really good it's fragrance free so it'll be great if you've got very sensitive skin type and for people that are looking of an easy and convenient way to reapply their make over the top of makeup this is a good option. It's really nice packaging, slots beautifully into your handbag, into your car, wherever you're gonna be traveling, you can take this with you. And uh, yeah, this is a bit of a revelation when it comes to that reapplication and just making it super simple. So there you have it guys, a rundown of my top five sunscreens of 2022 and an honorable mention for reapplication. I would love to know what your personal favorites are, so sound off in the comments section below. What I did want to get across in this video is all these products are available at a drugstore price point. I think even the most expensive one, Mill for Mill, which would be that beauty of Joseon one is still really affordable when you compare and contrast it to some others on the market. I don't want anyone overpaying and feeling that they have to compromise on the amount that they apply. Get a sunscreen that matches your skin type and your budget and honestly your skincare routine will just be plain sailing there on in. Hopefully this has given you some food for thought and sound off in the comments with any of your personal recommendations. Wherever you are in the world guys, stay safe, stay well, I love your skin. Take care. Bye.